So, hello, um, folks. Um, if this is your first time, this is Sarah Kali. I was going to wait till I get home to actually do this, to do a video, uh, my weekly video. But I'm stuck in traffic going east, and that's always a very long wait. So I decided to take the opportunity to talk to you guys about what I want to talk to um, you about. First off, happy new month to all of us just the season the season of merriment the season of bigger bigger the season of adopt the season of slaying the season of broken hearts and breaking hearts the season of all teen you go sober the season of too many picking all the season of the seasons it's here december i want to say um i'll do another video anyway about that uh, to all of us who actually made it to the december given the circumstances the challenges of 2020 and we actually made it to the end like we are in december right now that's that's something yeah but i'll do another video um relating to that so the one i want to talk about is um i posted a video about a school girl in her uniform and she was being proposed to by her sweetheart and people have been saying a lot of things about that video so i actually made a comment about um that video people were saying that the girl should be expelled from the school and i disagreed i said no the girl needs really um guidance she needs counseling she needs role models to talk to her to guide her um, but she should not be expelled from the school and people disagreed with me and they were saying that's the reason that children were having sex in the uniform and everything and this comment is coming from somebody I I hold in very high esteem because I think she's one of the very realest person on Facebook she's funny and everything and she made the statement and I understand the place or the reasoning behind a, st a statement so I'm not really against what she said so I'm going to give my own perception about it as always I might be funny and inappropriate in some of my statements but that's me you have to deal with that um, first off I want to make this clear that whatever I say I'm not judging her the girl um, I'm just saying what I'm what I think from my own perspective based on what I've experienced and what based on what I think um, could have or should have happened yeah but I'm no I'm by no means an expert on these issues these are just my views my personal biased views <laughs> First off, I want to make this clear that whatever I say, I'm not judging her, the girl. Um, I'm just saying what I'm, what I think from my own perspective, based on what I've experienced and what, based on what I think um, could have or should have happened. Yeah, but I'm no, I'm by no means an expert on these issues. These are just my views. My personal biased views now let me start off by saying some of us when we were in school maybe earlier in senior um, in junior secondary school or primary or whichever stage some of us did worse some of us took oaths with boyfriends um, you know swear blood some of us fought for boys some of us were stealing monies to buy for boyfriend cards or gifts. Some of us were sneaking our food uh, to boyfriend uh, or boyfriend friends to impress them and everything. 
and the reason those things were not out there for all to see was because it was not the age of technology back then it was not the well technology is not what it is now it wasn't then yeah so you would not see people taking pictures of us as we went to give our boyfriends valentine cakes i'm using our even though i know some of these things i did not do and it was not because i was disciplined or anything it was because i was a weird girl coming up i did not like a lot of things a lot of things that impressed other people did not impress me and i did not go out of my way to do them i will not please people just because i want to please them yes yeah, so i'm just using some of us to to relate to some of the situation because i had friends who did them and some of these friends we will be the ones who will buy these cakes and hide it behind our back so our friends can maneuver how they want to maneuver so their parents will not see them and then we hand over the cakes that we do all the same screaming and shouting and we there are times when we had these rings you know people gave rings to each other sometimes girlfriends gave girlfriends ring uh, rings they exchange vows they even got wedded in school in fact ladies and we did not call them lesbians so what she did i might be wrong but these are my views i don't think it's as bad as people are making it out to be i think she and her boyfriend or our groom <laughs> I'm calling him the groom right now. She and uh, <laughs> she and her boyfriend could have done this a different way. Um, I think the only thing for me, in my own opinion, the only thing wrong with that video was she was in a uniform, and that's the only thing I have an issue with. If you're a schoolgirl, be a schoolgirl. As soon as you are out of your uniform, you're just a normal girl going about her business. Um, so she could have had the proposal it was on the man's part for me it was the girl did not know she was going to be proposed to she was just going to school or coming back from school and then um, she saw the guy it might be that the guy wanted to surprise her for whatever reason because it's a surprise proposal so if she was aware she might have taken off a uniform wore a cloth we know girls put clothes in their bag and everything but it was a surprise proposal so that's the first thing all of you saying oh the, uh, i'm out picking the go dancer in uniform and then they go propose to that i think that not the money your responsibility and then they show how um irresponsible the guy be that is show how naive and how childish the guy be for let you not even take that into consideration say i don't go propose um so i know for propose to that wife today in a uniform even if you have a proposed to that wife only friends then they you can call them a house or when then they go lesson or when then they together no more way the lady tell you say oh i don't go hang out with my friends and you do that yeah uh, um the second thing where people they take for be an issue where for me i don't think it really be that issue is the issue of the age yeah we know picking any day in schools and then they pass 18 years me, me sister sitting was and he sit, he actually sitting was then two months it, it become 18 years so we know say there are times where and inner because it's small but there are times where picking any day in a school they're all up to 18 19 even 20 or 21 years of age they're still not sit was it so the age really is not a factor because you can see the way they wear the uniform and people yes small picking and then when they pull their uniform, they look like a big, big, big woman. And some of them are big, big woman because they don't pass 18, some of them don't pass 21 even. So the age really not an issue for me, yeah? Um, so I think it's very unfair for people, they sit down and cost the lady and talk about the lady waiting the one for stay and all that nonsense. They, for me, it doesn't even make sense, yeah? Um, yes, Daddy. The other issue where I want to talk about is how society like for crucify, especially girls, how they like for crucify girls them at every given point for anything will happen. I think that is one of the reasons why we get so many teenage pregnancies. That is one of the reasons why we get so many girl dropouts because society they crucify them very quickly. Everybody they make mistake, and I think human beings 
one of the, the, the things that we constant that changes, mistakes are part of life. If a girl they come up and they make a mistake, I don't think that any reason for let anybody out there sit down and say, oh, um, that picking day, it wear what it is. It might be because it make that mistake day because it don't know better. But if we sit down and they crucify them picking them day and every single mistake where they make, instead of we cancel them and bring them back to the right path, we they cancel them, hey, you know, where what, not this, not that. We they actually put them picking them day in a position where then they actually forget for come and talk to we as adults, yeah? That they actually fear for seek out advice. Then prefer for do things in corner with them party. The way we say some of the party them. My mama can say they're not even sabi tamba then say fine it. And then picking them then are the one that way. Then they go ask advice for hey body I can advise me just because sometimes some of them don't begin my business and then not begin my businesses. So then can feel say the best person for ask for advice. Now that other person, they whether or not um, the, the, the person na an adult or immature, they don't care as long as they take us. Ah, then they sabi pass we all you get experience pass with. So them experience basically is about having sex. So I think that now another thing where we st where we need for stop for do. Some of us did worse. So I'm not making excuses for this girl. I'm just saying it based on how I see things. I think we need for stop that situation of crucifying girls when they do things. Yeah, this is a simple matter. It's a proposal. It's a situation where they're supposed to be happy, and then somebody cancel them because for me, in my own opinion, I don't know they're living situations or whatever. But I think she's too young to get married so somebody supposed for advice then say no you're too young to get married for now i think it will be better if we na uh, um observe and set force be friends and then they begin control them and guide them for make then they're gonna all oh, see themselves what happened to courtship you know parents and they act as if it's a taboo for two um teenagers them for go out it's not a taboo the more i encourage them the more respect for that they get for them because they don't say me mama don't sabi you my papa don't sabi you they they forget for actually do stuff where we make then they lost that respect the way they get so you the parents get all the leverage but then i a discussion for another day yeah because Today we on create parents and then can say an African show me posting no last time you don't big now or can show me posting the big girls on then a secondary school you day yeah senior secondary school now they they you there you create parents and they begin to say now for cows posting no la can sabi and for you want say because any tia for la no sa for go you know those kinds of things you they you they guard the picking you they able look out for the kind of man where they hang around with and you they able caution now for the kind of person but people society just they make something so so hard so me, me point of this whole video is i want to say one i I not actually think what she did was wrong she wasn't the one doing the proposing she was being proposed to that's one um if anybody if an cast blame me 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 lock cast blame by the man because i ain't go propose any for be no say i know for go propose why she wear uniform that's the first thing secondly i think she she's a little bit naive she needs counseling and i don't think una need for expel him at this point because expulsion go just be like una they try for ostracize them from um, society and it really not go fine for like one mistake define the rest of your life because if una expel her now he want for sitting one spot sometimes go begin say go, go go sit private he go shame for go other school because in party then go for the laugh and say hey, look on and they then send her for school for go land book he go for go marry and they expel her at school you know all this stigma it's not necessary in me your opinion and then thirdly i want to say let parents them or even we the young ones them coming up i want to we love this thing about always being so judgmental being narrow uh, narrow-minded and they see things just from one angle it's about time we look at things and say okay this is what is happening um in me own very biased view i don't think say this will happen but if it happen let's think about the other situation people don't actually do that for me i always do that and i they always say ah, this year so now me own bias opinion no, because i know say i no go ever do this and then i go out of my box and think about the situation other alternatives different angles or oh, okay maybe their situation they this way maybe this their situation they this way and then i uh, entertain different scenarios that's how you do things don't always crucify people based on your limited view make you always say our views are limited 
based on our exchanges and our experiences and we cannot for the love of god always subject people to cruelty because now it's cruel it's very wicked of you for put people through certain negative toxic emotions just because you haven't been able to experience that or just because based on your own experience or your own views in life you think that's not a, a sensible situation for being that's my view and if you agree with this video, sh video share it if you disagree with this video tell me why and if you agree again tell me what in your opinion may i know because i want to have a different people having these kinds of discussion where go be honest people actually recognizing their biases and and being open about it yeah and this is a safe space if you want to talk about anything concerning this video you can just know that nobody you know to take fit from you especially me I know they take fit time for me so be very very careful way you the comment be feel free obviously for say what you want for say but please don't be rude because if you be rude when you clap at me me i'll clap back when you say a word i go use english for tell you thank you very much for watching yeah